Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel once again and again I'm skipping the basic introduction. This is just to bring out the videos quite fast to you guys and in some cases like in case of penny stocks I have to do this uh, before we miss the opportunity of entering the penny stocks at the right time so that's why i am skipping these basic introductions with uh, the camera and then it takes too much time to connect it and you know edit it so anyways um and of course this is never enough and i have to mention this each and every time that i love you guys for the immense support and feedback which you guys have been giving to me and to be honest this has helped me a lot to improve this channel and apart from that it also motivates me to bring out such content which could be helpful to many of you guys out there and yeah guys this is just motivating me and i will keep up the work to bring out such content out for you guys which could be really helpful for you guys to start your investment journey but anyways so today we are going to talk about one of our favorite stocks nano dimension or nndm stock but before we start I would just request you guys to hit and smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet then guys please do that because trust me you will get some really amazing results by subscribing to the channel that means by watching my videos <laughs> and of course if you guys are interested in joining our amazing patrons family then you are most welcome the link is in the video description below you can easily find that and if you don't then please just leave a comment and i will just send you the link just in case yeah and of course guys this is really important that please don't follow any youtuber out there blindly and nobody of us is a financial advisor at least as far as i know and uh, like i am not a financial advisor for sure i'm not a certified financial advisor and this is in no way a buying or a selling suggestions this is just to inform you guys about that particular stock so in this case nano dimensions and what are the recent updates what we might have missed updates or to bring such stocks up to your notice so that you can do your own due diligence i mean of course this video these videos will be a part of your own due diligence but still guys please be careful with your money this is your hard earned money and with that being said let's move on to our nano dimension so we are back again with another nano dimensions video guys just wanted to cover a few bullish aspects which i came across recently in this week and I'm getting more and more bullish on this company with time passing by. And with that being said, let's dive into some facts and figures. So to start with guys, recently the CEO of Nano Dimensions issued a letter to its shareholders stating the early financial results. So on a preliminary basis, Nano Dimension reported an unaudited revenue of approximately $3.4 million for the year ended December 31st, 2020, approximately $990 million in cash and no debt as of January 31st, 2021. And guys, this is big. The above information reflects preliminary estimates with respect to certain results of Nano Dimension for the year ended December 31st, 2020, based on currently available information because the audit is not yet complete. Of course, Nano Dimension's final results may vary from the preliminary estimates, but I don't think that the results may vary with big margins. So I still think that this is quite near to the actual results but anyways and as we know that the majority of this cash is coming from their direct offerings which they have been doing since past six months but honestly i don't mind that until and unless as an investor i do see that they first of all will be using this cash wisely and also that they will be focusing on raising cash through their business profitability and success and of course we can give them a credit or benefit of doubt because even though when the pandemic really struck and they being in the original equipment manufacturing industry they practically had no sales whatsoever even the ceo mentioned that and they actually used this opportunity of raising the cash by such direct offerings and always in the correct time i mean whenever the stock price was making a new high at that particular time they did a direct offering and nobody got hurt so honestly i don't mind that until and unless they will be improving on their cash position through their business ideas and product sales 
And honestly, guys, this is one of those industries which actually got hit pretty hard during the pandemic because they are into original equipment manufacturing and they are manufacturing robots and equipments which are used to assembly and produce printed circuit boards. And there are many operators and people involved during the installation and training of these equipments to the customers to teach them how to use these machines. And during such times and limited budgets from the customers, I don't think that any customer would be going in for such a disruptive extra technology, you know, to just carry on with their production. And that's why all these factors together really impacted the sales of Nano Dimension. And that's why I am pretty sure as things begin to start up, as the economy begins to stand, Nano Dimension with its disruptive technology would be unstoppable because trust me guys i'm an engineer i know how the printed circuit board assembly works how the production is happening how the printed circuit boards are used what kind of solar paste they use what kind of components are assembled and this what they are doing is amazing i mean they are simply replacing a whole assembly line worth millions of dollars by one machine okay so they also stated that a large number of upgrades of the older Dragonfly Pro into the next generation system will be done and this is like reoccurring revenue for them revenue boosted by our reoccurring revenue model which includes the selling of dielectric and conductive materials for printing strong initial sales of our new nanos nano service of proof of concept prototyping printing of high pets high performance electronic devices and guys this is the future high performance electronic devices just to let you guys know and reoccurring revenues from customers with annual service and support agreements so for any original equipment manufacturer this is a strong reoccurring revenue support and service and also trainings which actually they should have included but anyways sales to pacific rim customers who recovered earlier from the pandemic and started to buy machines in november 2020 so like i said many customers out there had the budget issues and especially when they have to buy such expensive machines they won't be focusing on you know such expensive machines they would be first focusing on how to survive and not buying a new product and that's why this was one of the factors that really 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 hampered nano dimensions growth but as we see that they are already standing up on their feet and the customers are realizing that okay the pandemic is getting over and they will be needing such technology and apart from that guys they raised approximately 1 billion dollars and we know how but anyways which will be used for accelerating the technology and product development which is amazing we don't care how they raised $1 billion, but we do care how will they be using this money. And as we see that they will be using this to expand their business, which is amazing. Engage Needham and Corporation to lead US M&A strategy. Engage Carl Square from Germany in January 2021, which also tells us that they are expanding in Europe. Profiled and scanned more than 80 potential acquisition target across geographies and electronic industry segments and contacted and studied a large part of them. So that also means that they might be using some amount of cash which they raised for acquisitions of such electronic industries. Identified few synergistic candidates with complementary breakthrough technologies and or commercial complementary products and channel overlap engaging some of them in purchase and or merger discussions like I said. So they might be using some of the cash which they they raised through direct offerings for these mergers and this also means that we might be facing these uh, direct offerings pretty soon as soon as they would be planning to acquire or performing search mergers established offices in the US in South Florida which houses marketing sales customer care and application engineering teams so I'm pretty comfortable with the fact that how actually they are using their cash position and this is what we would like to see as investors that using the cash, using the cash flow, using the leftover cash for expansion of the business or putting the money back into the business for its expansion. And this is an amazing fact. And what's better than that, guys? They entered into the 15 biggest 3D companies in the world. So starting with the list from an Israeli company with a market capitalization of just $23 million. So guys, isn't this amazing to see that they started with just $23 million and now they're sitting at more than $3 billion. And no, that's not overvaluation, to be honest. And 
Nano Dimension is a market leader in 3D products based on nanotechnology and has recently been in the limelight for producing an award-winning 3D printer called Dragonfly Pro. The printer is expected to change the entire production process in manufacturing industries. Nano Dimension has clients across the globe who belong to different industries. And why not? They will be the market leaders. Why? Well, because, for example, let's see, this is the normal traditional PCB, how the components are mounted on it. So all of these, what you see here, these are components like resistors, capacitors, yeah, and uh, ICs and uh, inductors. So all what you see here are the components from the electronic industries and these are called surface mount electronics. So the vast majority of electronic circuits are now made using printed circuit boards. So printed circuit boards, like I mentioned earlier, printed means, so these are the designs, the circuits which are printed on a circuit board, the green color board. And these are copper clad fiberglass or epoxy. So as you see that there are copper wires and these are uh, for making the connectivity between different components or different uh, electronic parts yeah, to complete the circuit so that they can uh, we have an electric uh, bonding between the circuits uh, between the components so this is how a normal printed circuit board is used so the final product is then assembled into some other application like for automotive for airplanes your household machines washing machine mobile phones whatsoever think of any electronic uh, gadget it will be using a printed circuit board okay so that's a traditional pcb but let's say we have a single sided pcb so pcbs are very limiting in terms of connection topology as you can see here with single sided pcbs both circuits require the ability to join two conductive tracks using a wire so the two sides have to be uh, combined together to form a connectivity by connectivity i mean that the current can flow yeah, just in simple language and double sided PCBs elevate this problem by allowing connections through holes from one side of the PCB to another. But the problem comes when there are multi layer boards, which is one step ahead. And when these layers are increasing, then the normal traditional PCB design could become really complicated. And as soon as the components will become smaller and smaller, like mini ICs, then also it becomes quite complicated. And that's where nano dimension steps in. And that will definitely help nano dimensions because, as we see, that the most common PCB type is two to six layers with. 37% share of the total market. Therefore, multi layer boards will be the largest addressable market, and Nano Dimensions will be the market leader for multi layer boards. And that's why I think that in future, they won't definitely have any problems regarding sources of revenue. Okay, and if you want to talk about the growth, well, it's going to take off. Well, because the projection, which is derived from various market studies, shows that additive manufacturing of electronics components, that is AME, will face a compound annual growth of 24% in the coming years. And that's why I think that they won't have any issues regarding the growth or revenue whatsoever. I mean, look at the chart, guys. Such an amazing, beautiful, bullish chart. The momentum indicators as well are showing a strong support for this bullish pattern. MACD and RSI are both curling up again in a really beautiful manner. And the incoming volume spikes are consistent and are repeating themselves again and again, forming always new low highs and higher highs with decent and reasonable pullbacks what we see from time to time this is what i call a true bullish trend as this has been consistent since four to five months and now this is just unstoppable guys this is really amazing and guys my last price target in my previous video from nano dimension was somewhere between 15 and 20 dollars before quarter three of 2021 but now as i see the momentum of the stock price and i see the performance of the company i see that it could easily cross this price target in the coming three to four months and honestly guys many investors might think this as an over evaluation because let's say considering the enterprise value of around four million dollars and free cash flow of around 13 million dollars that would result in a real value somewhere between 10 to 12 dollars per share but guys honestly i still think that we are investing in this company considering the future evaluation of this company which it could achieve in the coming five years or five to ten years and let's say yes for example if the stock price would be around fifty dollars then of course i might definitely say that that is over evaluation but for now 
in my opinion looking at the future performance of this particular company and being such a good disruptive technology i think that this company still has a lot of room to grow and the future success of this company has still not been baked in to the stock price and with that being said guys i will wrap up today's video this was just to give you guys a quick heads up on this particular company which is nano dimension we are holding strong on this company and i'm very confident that this will definitely outperform our expectations in 2021 and the following years especially after this pandemic is over which was actually halting the company sales so i will see you in the next one guys that's all our amazing company nano dimensions signing off